So my my topic uh, is not that much about robots. Uh, it can be taken as an uh, uh, talk on on uh, the possible consequences of of uh, robots. So I'm going to talk about uh, technology induced uh, in uh, unemployment and and remedies, uh, especially one specific remedy against it, uh, which is uh, the basic basic income. Um, so uh, the robots have been discussed in my discipline very much as a threat uh, to uh, uh, employment. Uh, and there has been very many uh, predictions of, of uh, jobs disappearing because of automation and because of uh, robots. Uh, and uh, the basic argument goes that uh, there will be uh, uh, at least some uh, technological unemployment uh, some more uh, pessimistic scenarios are predicting uh, 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 profilation of non-standard employment or, or, or a very strong uh, uh, job and wage polarization. Um, in terms of concepts, uh, uh, these uh, uh, concepts of robotization, automatization, di digitalization, they have uh, been used uh, in many cases um, interchangeably, so, so very uh, loosely. But, uh, but the basic argument is that technology will uh, somehow uh, replace uh, human labor uh, in the future to an extent which we haven't uh, experienced before. So it's not just going to concern uh, uh, blue collar workers, but white collar workers as well. Uh, and that might lead to, to uh, a huge uh, a negative effects uh, uh, in, the, in the labor market. So uh, uh, the labor market context uh, has been quite demanding in Europe uh, even before the current COVID-19 crisis uh, and uh, the early effects of uh, technological change. So, so we have seen uh, a growing um, inequality between those who are insiders who have uh, full-time jobs and those are outsiders who have uh, precarious positions in the labor market or who are uh, unemployed or, or uh, completely excluded from, from the labor market. Uh, Long-term uh, unemployment is, is a very, very big problem in, in all European countries. Uh, Many uh, scholars uh, and business leaders, they have predicted that uh, it is just, it's uh, uh, specifically because of automation that we will see uh, a new forms of social protection emerging. New forms uh, meaning uh, universal basic income. Universal basic income is a periodic payment, uh, lump sum payment without uh, any means testing or, or, or work requirement. Uh, so people from very different uh, uh, areas have, have uh, proposed uh, a universal basic, basic income. Uh, there has been actually basic income uh, discussion and debates uh, uh, earlier. Um, uh, in the 70s, uh, United States and Canada implemented very uh, uh, large uh, experiment, experience, uh, uh, but the results were not to... Uh, uh, encouraging, so uh, the interest faded. Uh, since then, basic income was mainly discussed among academics, uh, political philosophers uh, in Europe, uh, but this uh, uh, robots are coming claim brought this uh, uh, debate on basic income into, into the mainstream. Uh, here you see that um, <clears throat> all, all over the world they are, are uh, basic income uh, experiments in, in uh, progress or, or being uh, planned uh, or, or uh, uh, discussed. This is uh, uh, a bit old, two years old, uh, uh, almost two years old uh, pictures. So there are even more uh, experience, uh, experiments uh, uh, running at, at the moment. Uh, Finland gained a lot of international uh, attention in 20. 15, when the new government, the conservative government, uh, uh, said that they're going to implement a basic income experiment. 
what was really surprising was that this idea was coming from the political right. Normally, it has been the Greens and the political left who's been very uh, enthusiastic about basic income. Uh, so the Finnish uh, experiment was labeled as an experiment of uh, universal basic income, which was a misconception since uh, we only experimented basic income among uh, uh, young unemployed persons and, and uh, long-term unemployed persons. So it was about partial basic income. Uh, it was it was uh, uh, unique in the sense that it was a uh, randomized controlled trial, a randomized field experiment where the enrollment was uh, compulsory. Uh, uh, actually, a law was passed in the parliament to implement this experiment. Uh, but still, it's not possible to evaluate the dynamic and system level effects with that kind of research design. Uh, the experiment uh, took uh, uh, place between 2017 and 2018, and we got the final results uh, last, last spring. So the idea, the way it worked was that uh, basic income um, experiment group was selected among those who are getting flat rate unemployment compensation. Uh, and 2000 people were randomly selected into this uh, 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 experiment group uh, while the others who were not selected uh, uh, were considered as a control group. Uh, the benefit level uh, was uh, exactly the same in both groups. Uh, uh, so that's five, 560 you know, euros or, or 645 US dollars. Uh, the target population was limited to a to, uh, little bit older in uh, working age individuals, uh, but not uh, including those who were very close to retirement. So the, they were unemployed individuals between 25 and, and 50, 58. Uh, what was also unique uh, in the Finnish experiment was that uh, we have excellent registers, so we were able to uh, track down uh, annual, uh, uh, sorry, monthly uh, the changes in people's incomes. So we had we used those excellent registers to to, to study the effects of, of basic income. Uh, we were actually we were basically studying. Uh, three uh, different uh, interlinked mechanisms. One is the income disregard. Uh, in, you know, if you were getting the basic income and you started getting uh, work income, that was not uh, 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 reduced from your benefit. So you were able to keep the 560 euros, uh, how, uh, whatever, uh, how much you, you were able to, to make in, in, uh, in work income. Uh, you were not also not subject to any kind of sanctions, so so uh, the the unemployment uh, office uh, uh, was not able to to give you any kind of a sanctions or termination of your benefits, uh, and there was no need to report your incomes back to the authorities. So there was absence of bureaucracy in that sense. So so here you see the. Uh, uh, the results in a nutshell, um, and please pay attention to the right hand side uh, panel of, of these slides. Uh, so you see that uh, recipients of basic income uh, on average, they had 76 uh, days uh, of work between this uh, uh, study period and the control group uh, had uh, 73. So a very, very slight uh, increase, and I will talk about this a uh, little bit more in detail uh, later on. Uh, we also, uh, there was also a survey conducted, uh, a survey which gained a lot of uh, uh, attention, uh, and the survey was showing that uh, people were uh, generally uh, much more uh, satisfied with their financial situation, uh, and they were experiencing less uh, 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 depression, etc. So all uh, well-being indicators were were uh, much better for those who were uh, receiving the uh, uh, basic basic income. Um, so so the employment effects uh, were very very minor, uh, uh, especially if you consider the huge uh, incentive for for uh, for getting uh, extra income. Uh, uh, but it was really um, uh, big uh, uh, 
disappointment in the experience experiment was that the government introduced a new uh, a sanctioning model, which was called activation model, uh, in the middle of the uh, uh, experiment period. Uh, and that uh, uh, prevented us from, from studying uh, the uh, individual effects of, of uh, basic income uh, uh, during the second year of, of the, uh, of the uh, uh, experiment. So over here you see uh, uh, the uh, black dots are controls and, and uh, sorry, the experiment group is the black dot uh, and the, the white uh, dot is, is the controls. Uh, and on the horizontal axis, you see uh, the study, study period. So during the first year, which was the uh, only year when there was no contamination because of the act activation model, there was no uh, uh, change. Uh, even for the second year, which is the combined effect of the activation model and basic income, there was a very little change. If you look at the, uh, the confidence intervals, so there were actually just one month uh, or two months where the confidence interval of 95% uh, uh, was uh, <clears throat> not crossing the zero, zero line. So the activation model in Finland, it, it caused a lot of uh, anger, uh, widespread anger and demonstrations. So it was very likely that it was also having effect on, on the uh, employment results. Um, Perhaps the most surprising result from, the, from this study was something which was not so much publicized when the um, uh, results were released. And that is the fact that many people actually uh, wanted to be enrolled in the uh, unemployment, uh, in the employment uh, service, uh, in the employment services. Uh, and they wanted to be subject to, to, to sanctions because I guess they just felt that they were getting something from the uh, uh, active labor market policy measures. Well, the, the normal argument is, is that people uh, uh, shy away from, from bureaucracy and they shy away from uh, employment um, offices since they are not getting any help for, for getting, a, get, getting a job, but that wasn't the case. Uh, as for as for uh, uh, the results in in um, studying well-being, uh, they cannot be compared with the uh, results concerning the uh, employment effect, since there was no uh, there was no RCT setting here. There was just a, a cross-sectional survey conducted at the very end of the uh, experiment period, uh, and and uh, there were very few. Uh, 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 people answering this uh, this uh, uh, survey, which also uh, invalidates some some of its results. The results were very positive. That is uh, true, uh, but we don't know if that it it is actually showing uh, the effect of basic income or the fact that people felt happier since they were selected into this this uh, group uh, group. Uh, and as you see, the the uh, response rate. Was really low for the compar for the control group, only only 20.3 percent, and not a very high for for the experiment group either, 31 percent. Uh, so there is a, poly a possible selection um, mechanism, and then also the activation model might have uh, uh, affected uh, uh, the the, uh, the 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 results. Uh, but in any, any case, uh, I would say that uh, uh, the employment effects were not as good as expected if there was any employment effect at, at all. So it doesn't seem like uh, basic income is really a, an answer for, for uh, uh, technology-induced uh, uh, unemployment in terms of, of uh, uh, re-employing uh, or, or uh, encouraging people to get, uh, to get uh, new jobs. Uh, but it's it's like it's possible that it is uh, 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 taken as a more uh, as a better option uh, than the current uh, uh, flat rate uh, uh, means tested uh, unemployment benefit. So it's possible that it's making people happier, uh, uh, even though it doesn't encourage them to to get jobs. Uh, currently, we have a, a committee to reform social security. 
uh, but basic income is not on its agenda and it's very likely, uh, very unlikely that it's going to be implemented in, in Finland anytime soon. Uh, however, some, uh, uh, some elements of basic income could be, could be uh, uh, included in the reforms uh, for, for, uh, for, the coming, for the coming years. Uh, just a w final word about the, the uh, uh, current situation uh, concerning the social protection and COVID-19. Uh, many countries have actually seen uh, emergency basic income payments. Uh, countries like Japan, uh, uh, United States, uh, uh, Spain. Uh, so there is uh, a chance for a kind of a para paradigmatic shift uh, in, in uh, providing social protection and that could could uh, in the future give more weight also for, for basic in income or, or similar types of uh, social protection programs. So that's all for me uh, and I thank you for your, for your attention and if there is time or, or need for any questions or, or comments I'm happy to re respond.